What's up guys, Spin Firearms here and today we're going to be talking about my Rugers. We're going to be reviewing each of my Rugers. I only have four, but if you know me over here, I don't discriminate against any firearms. I truly am one of those people that believe there's a firearm for everybody out there, whether it's cost-wise, whether it's the situation you're in, whether it's your job or your profession. I always think there's plenty of firearm options for everybody out there and something that works for everybody. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about. But before we get started, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, subscribe, tell me your thoughts on Ruger firearms, tell me, do you have a Ruger firearm? If so, which one? What did you carry today? What kind of holster? And also, don't forget to hit the super thanks if you're willing. That means the world to me. It shows me that you're supporting the channel and that I'm putting in some good work and my effort is truly paying off. Let's get started. My Ruger LCP. Love this thing. This is the ultimate deep concealment firearm. It is so light, you can literally throw it anywhere. You can throw it in your wife's purse, throw it in your pocket, you can throw it in a coat, you can throw it literally anywhere. And you're going to have 6 plus 1 of 380 to defend yourself. Now, yes, it has a longer, heavier trigger pull, but it's a pocket pistol. It's supposed to have that. And the reason for that is, if you're being active and something's in your pocket, which is a firearm in your pocket, and you're being active, you don't want anything possibly making its way into that trigger guard and pulling that trigger and a lot of people carry with soft holsters which is the one that they come with which I don't think Ruger should be sending out soft pocket holsters but they do something can get in there press that trigger down and that thing can go off and get someone seriously hurt but the thing I like about this is it's so small and I threw a whole grip on there which feels really good in the hand I also have a blast shooting these micro pistols these pocket pistols these mouse guns they are a blast to shoot at the range and you realize how accurate they truly are. Even with these crappy sights, you are spot on and super accurate. Now, the downside to the Ruger LCPs are a lot of them have rust issues. And on top of that, some people have issues with feeding certain hollow points. Mine has been 100% reliable, no issues, and I love it. And I carried this a lot this summer because this is the perfect dog walking firearm. Taking the kids on a walk, taking the kids to the park going to get gas at the gas station stuff like that you're just walking out the door real quick don't want to break open the safe just grab it and go and then you're good to go i think everyone should have a pocket pistol in their arsenal because they play a major major role in everyday carry absolutely love it next up is the ruger lcp max which is basically an upgraded version of the lcp it has a much much better trigger a much better shape trigger much better ergonomics you can get a much better purchase on the firearm but the big thing is capacity that is 6 plus 1, this is 10 plus 1. You can also get the 12 plus 1 magazine for it. This can basically be, basically be your main everyday carry. You can carry this appendix. Throw the 12 round mag in there and you have 13 rounds of 380. That is plenty for literally any situation when it comes to self-defense. Also, instead of those crappy other sights, they give you a tritium front sight with a white outline and a black U-notch rear that's textured. And I love the U-notch rears. Love them on my Hellcats, love them on my Glocks. They just shoot great. The trigger on this makes it such a better shooter than the original LCP. But once again, these do feel cheaper, they do feel lighter, and they are more prone to rust. But so far, so good. Not a single issue with any of them. They eat every hollow point I um, run through them. This also has forward serrations, and I did get the Cerakoted slide just because I like this color. I like silver or tungsten colored slides with a black frame. It's just my go-to. But this, once again, is the ultimate pocket pistol when it comes down to capacity, size, and weight. And it is so easy to conceal for deep concealment. You can't beat it. This pistol right here holds a special place in my heart. Now, this is not my original. One of my first carry guns, actually, I think my first carry gun was a Ruger EC9S, which is this. I only had $250 at the time, so I went with this. I didn't know much about firearms. I just knew I wanted something to protect myself with. And this is what I got. I ended up getting rid of it in the future to upgrade and get something else, but then I came back for it because I realized this thing symbolized something. For years, when I had only $250, had no money, was living paycheck to paycheck, this was the firearm I defended myself with and protected my life with and trusted my life with. And that meant so much to me. And the way I think about Ruger is they are the working man's gun. They are the United States hardworking citizen firearm. They don't give you anything special, nothing crazy, nothing extra. They just give you a good, reliable firearm that runs. Now, I pocket carried this at work. Um, 
I car carried it with the nine round mag in the appendix. It also has an eight round mag. This is a seven plus one setup right here, but you can also get the eight round mag and nine round mag and give yourself some good capacity in nine millimeter. That, with the nine round mag, that's 10 rounds at nine millimeter. You know, you're gonna be good to go in almost any situation. Thing I didn't like about it though, you can't change out the sights, but at the time I didn't care. I was more into being, I was more into scraping up every penny I could so that I could get some ammo to train with this thing. And so whether I was shooting 20 rounds at the range that day or 100 rounds at the range that day, I felt awesome that I had something reliable that runs everything and I can defend myself with. And this pistol was there for me. So I have nothing against Ruger. This is a great shooter. Um, the trigger is actually pretty good on it. I know the LC9S is much better. Um, but for me, for having $250 at the time, back then when single stacks were huge, this was my go-to. And this firearm truly means a lot to me. That's why I went back and got it. And fun fact, my old one had the same exact color hole grip on it. So I had the exact same setup that I've made now. Absolutely love this thing. And it has a special place in my heart because to be honest, um, when you're living paycheck to paycheck and you only have one firearm, you know, that firearm is everything to you. So shout out to that Ruger EC9S. Last but not least, my favorite Ruger offering to this day. I don't care what anyone says. This is the best Ruger in my opinion, the Ruger SR9C. This is a subcompact, similar in size to my Glock 26, just a little longer barrel and slide, but I love the stainless steel. And this is also one of the firearms that I had in the past, got rid of, but happened to find it used at a Bass Pro Shop or something like that, picked it up instantly, and loved this thing. This thing is a beast. Let me show you, we're going to go over trigger pulls after this in a second, but absolutely love this thing. It has a rail, it has great ergonomics, feels so natural in the hand. Um, the slide glides like butter. Um, the sights are actually really good. They're adjustable. Some people don't like how tiny the dots are, but I honestly like them. Very easy to line up. And what I love about it is that trigger, when you pull that trigger, you notice that it's, your firearm stays steady and straight. It is just a good overall trigger. And look at that slide. That finish is absolutely beautiful. Um, the barrel isn't the most beautiful thing in the world, but the firearm is a great shooter. When I went to Bass Pro Shop, took it apart, I said, okay, this thing actually looks fairly unused and reasonable. The one thing about it is they did not make a version without a safety. They all have safeties. But it is such a hard safety to turn on, just like the EC9S. They are very stiff. You're not going to accidentally turn that thing on. So I just don't use it, and it is what it is. I have nothing bad to say about the SR9C. My first one I had, though, was unreliable. This one has been flawless. And since I got it, I've put about a thousand rounds through it, not a single issue. And I do carry this from time to time. I carry it in a hog holster. And you can also use code SPN for 10% off all hog holsters. Now, let's get into trigger pulls. We'll start with the Ruger SR9C. Oh yeah, and it's a 10 plus 1 setup. But what's nice is, they also make a 17 round mag for it with a Ruger mag sleeve. So you can make this your home defense, your everyday carry firearm, all in one. So that's absolutely awesome. But anyways... Every firearm is always safety checked and cleared. I mean, this thing just glides like butter, right? Here's the trigger pull. It's a little spongy. I mean, but it's so crisp and clean. I mean, I absolutely love this thing. Great shooter. And what I like about it is it's built like a tank. It's not built like these newer Rugers. I feel like the newer Rugers, like the securities and stuff like that, they're really good firearms, but they're not built like tanks. These are heavier, and these are built to take a beating, and these are more built to take wear and use and just take an overall beating and still run. So that's why I absolutely love the Ruger um, SR9C. Here's the Ruger LCP Max, safety clear as well. Trigger pull, super light, but then a heavy wall but it's very crisp and very predictable absolutely love this thing the original lcp always clear i mean that's like 10 12 pounds right there i mean that's crazy but here's the thing it is a great great shooter when you're actually shooting it the difference is people don't realize that triggers during live fire and dry fire are completely different. And then last but not least, the Ruger EC9S, once again, glides like butter. Oh yeah, sorry. It has a mag disconnect on it. So, let 
long reset, but a very light trigger. Absolutely love every single one of these Ruger firearms. You can't go wrong with Ruger. They're for the average, hardworking American. Shout out to Ruger. Love these firearms. Thanks for watching, guys.